Happy Valentine's Day folks and welcome back to a tips video on how to improve one of the most important things in your life. I mean this starling allows you to play World of Tanks all you want, it watches porn with you, and it never gets angry whenever you press its buttons. So I'm obviously talking about your computer, the joke is terrible. <laughs> Who else am I talking about? Your girlfriend? Your boyfriend? Yeah, if that happens, you slap a ring on it. <laughs> Alright, Sam, stop. The joke is terrible. So clever segue. Now after spending money on chocolates and flowers this Valentine's Day, here are a few tips that are pretty much free to improve your computer on. So you have a better FPS while playing games, and your computer performs a lot better when you're browsing the internet or sorting through a bunch of stuff. So always good. And here are a few steps to increase the performance of your computer. Now I split the video into two parts. The first part will talk about FPS increase and computer performance. Whereas the second part will be about my channel updates and a few recommendations for Valentine's. So click on the link around my face to skip to the fun stuff because talking about computer tends to be a little bit boring. So here we go. Now for internet, Connection by cable is more reliable and faster than Wi-Fi or 3G. So try to connect your computer with an Ethernet cord as you can see right here. But even for laptops and whatnot. So next up is update your graphics card, which is also important because you're using it. So here's how you do it. So go to your start button, type in device manager, if I can spell. So click on that. That will give you this and go to display adapters and here are your drivers for your graphics cards. So update driver and basically just that's how you do it. Pretty simple, right? All right, here's the second one and update. Pretty simple. You can also go to your action center by clicking on the little flag on the right bottom parts of your taskbar. Click on Windows Update and click on the updates available and check the ones for your graphics card. So that's pretty much easy. So easy peasy. All right. Also disable indexing to increase um, your computer performance. So basically what this does is um, it decreases hard disk usage by Windows at the cost of slower file search performance. But you don't really use file search that often, so disabling this doesn't hurt you that much. So it also increases your FPS. So here's how you do it. Now go to your C drive, your normal computer. So click on your computer, and here it is. Then go to properties, and uncheck this box right here, and press apply. Now after you press apply, it will take around 5 minutes to 10 minutes, so don't panic if it's slowly going, but it is working, so uncheck this box. So I got about 10 FPS increasing from this, which is pretty good. 10 to 20-ish. Alright. Next is try to tidy up your hard disk, which is mostly the C drive, by deleting unwanted stuff. So if you have a game you don't already play, or you don't play anymore, try to delete it. That's always good. Delete some movies if you have, or some other stuff you don't want. So delete stuff until you have about 20% of free space left on your hard drive. You can also scan for errors if your computer is older than three years old. So basically what you do is you go to the same old properties of your C drive. Go to hardware, no, not hardware, go to tools, and go to error checking. So click here to check for errors. So click both box and press start. I right, already did it, so no point. So that's how you check for errors. Now never defrag a SSD drive, which is a solid state drive. So this is mostly like, you know, a USB type of drive, which it doesn't have a 
rotating disk scanner thing. So I'm not that computer suave, so I don't know that much about computers. So just defrag the C drive. That's pretty much all you have to do. Don't defrag anything else because it turns to um, shorten the lifespan of the SSD drives without actually improving it. So just defrag the C drive. That's all you have to know. Also, use Task Manager Control Shift Delete to check your CPU usage for a minute. So press Control Shift Delete and start up the Task Manager. Here it is. Now, you should be using your CPU about 10% normally without doing anything. So if it's more than that, significantly more, that means that you likely have a virus on your computer and you might want to have to download a virus scanning software and delete it. I'm obviously recording right now, so my computer is still using memory to record and write stuff, but you should have about 10% or so of CPU usage. So yeah, if there's significantly more, you might have a virus, so try to get rid of it. Also use service.msc and disable non-essential task, I misspelled, to increase performance. So what that means is you go to here, type in service.msc, yeah. or just type services, services, not service. So click on this and this should pop up. So disable anything that you see is unnecessary, such as there is a good one that I found. What the hell is it? Such as Skype updater. So basically it enables the uh, detection and download and installation of updates for Skype, which is not that important. So I'll disable it. What the hell is it? Properties. And I'll go to manual. Don't need to automatically update. So basically there are five or there are 10 programs that you should never disable. And I'll put the list into the, or the link to the list into the bottom description. So never disable those because your computer might break. All right, use caution when you're editing stuff like modding. So be aware, but I'll put the list in the description. So never disable. There are a few items that should never disable. I misspell list. God damn it. <laughs> and here are some system setting info about water tanks. Now for RAM, you need about two gigabytes, but four gigabytes or more if you want to play more comfortably. For GPU, you need 256 megabytes of video RAM. Max details are at two gigabytes VRAM. So all right, GPU is processing of scenery graphics, whereas CPU is processing of calculations like models, trajectory, sounds, client-server communications, whatnot. If the game runs less than 60 FPS, it's better not to enable VSync and triple buffering. So in the graphics tab, general graphics at all, because both can cause performance loss. Full screen mode should be faster, so no need to render desktop. Less screen resolution means more FPS. Less field of range means more FPS. Enabling standard graphics means more FPS. Grassy sniper mode reduces um, performance, so try to disable it. And influence both gameplay and performance, so cybersport players always disable this. So that's interesting. The difference between disable and low setting is only a few FPS. So if you want to have all the fancy graphics without having the gigantic spike in FPS, try low instead of um, disable. Post processing handles the post effects after death. So basically like the hot air steaming from effects and other stuff. So like fire burning and other stuff. So it's not recommended for weak computers. And motion blur is not recommended for weak computers because it's motion blur. It takes a lot of processing to do that. So here's a general, a few changes about the system setting info within the game. Also, I have two articles on For The Record, which talks about these system settings. So I put them in the description of the video and you should check them out if you want to increase your FPS a little bit more. But I have two programs 
that I recommend you having. One of them is the Advanced System Protect, whatever they call it, Advanced System Care. So this is a free program. It removes a lot of junkware on your computer, which is very good. So stuff like spyware, uh, registry, defrag, you know, junk. This is a very good tool to remove all of those. And I highly recommend this tool. So I put the link to the description of this video um, where you can download this little tool. And it's pretty good. And the second tool is the CC cleaner, whatever they call it, the C cleaner. And this is also free. So it also does the same job, but these two tools kind of intertwine with each other. If one misses, the other one will likely to catch it. So that's always good. So use these two tools to help you scan and find um, errors within your drive and registry. So there's a lot of junk on your computer and it's pretty hard for you to manually scan through everything. So these two tools will help you in get rid getting rid of these crap. So ooh, that's pretty much simple stuff you can use to increase your FPS within the game. That's also free. So these steps will help you get the most of your computer and it's kind of boring so my apologies but here's the fun stuff and here's the update to my World of Tanks account as well as a few stuff about my channel and a few recommendations for Valentine's Day now for World of Tanks account I've been playing the T-44 as well as the MT-25 for the on track to the Object 140 so eh, it's coming along slowly I have like three days left yeah three days left to grind up to 75,000 XP so hooray but what's good about World of Tanks is that they gave me one day of premium for each day you log in so basically for this weekend the party celebration whatever they're celebrating I don't even know I didn't read uh, you get one day of premium so basically that's five days of premium for me to grind so I'll be busy I guess but yeah, the T-44 is not a bad medium tank uh, the turret is a little bit weak but it's alright it's still pretty mobile so that's good and yeah, rest for the rest of the tanks I have I need to buy stuff since equipments are 25% off so let's buy equipments I don't know why I'm doing this on my channel updates, but whatever. So I'll buy a vent. <laughs> That's pretty much all I want. Um, I don't know why they haven't gotten rid of the 8-bit tanks that we have. So these are kind of pointless now, aren't they? All right. But yeah, that's pretty much all the tanks I have. Pretty much. I have like 80 some tanks. Let's see. I have 84 tanks. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, so basically, I'm not even looking at that. So here are all the tanks I have. Pause it if you want. It's not that special. I hate the AT-8. All right, this thing is god awful. I don't want to buy the giant vent for it too because the giant vent costs so much. So god, disgusting. <laughs> all right, the just bleh. Also, I've been recruiting female crews onto my Jagdpanzer E100 which is taking forever <laughs> great idea Sam take all the female crews and stick it onto one tank that has like six crew members wonderful <laughs> it takes forever Jesus alright but yeah I'll sell my T30, uh, T43 whenever the sale gets off because it's still on track and STI has been fun so I like it it's like American but that's good and haven't been playing the Chinese a lot haven't been playing the Japanese a lot since stuff so yeah why do I only have like two garage slots but whatever that's pretty much all the tanks I have so if you find me uh, send me an invite and I'll play with you but for now yeah, I'm doing videos. So, as for the individual missions or personal missions campaign, I finished the Stuk 4 
It's been rough, but I got five crew members out of it. So, all right. Now to do the T28 concept, which is taking a little bit longer than expected. So, blah. I mean, there's a few missions that's ridiculous, which is the, what the hell is it? The setting one tier higher tank on fire, which is annoying. Uh, destroy three medium tanks while playing a medium tank. Annoying. Or the hell's the other one for the artillery? Uh, destroy two artillery. Kind of suck. Just cause damage to three tanks with one shot. Sucks. <laughs> so there are a few missions that's kind of stupendously annoying. But for now, yeah, that's my or the tanks account. So I need to buy more garage slots for more tanks, I guess. But uh, that's pretty much it. And finally, I have a few recommendations for Valentine's Day. Now these will keep you busy if you're riding solo, or you can share them with your significant other ones. So always good. So two games, one movie and one anime. And I know Anahana is free, so you can watch this on Crunchyrolls. I'll put the link in the description below so you can watch it. But the rest of these should be pretty cheap because they're kind of old. And the price is worth it, in my opinion. So let's talk about To The Moon. This is an RPG, and the story is this old man is dying of a terminal illness. And he wants to have scientists implement or implant a memory into his brain of going to the moon. So they have the technology like the sunshine to the spotless mind, so they can implant stuff. But they don't know why the old man wants to go to the moon. So they dig deeper into his psyche and it's a tragic love story. So you'll love it. I highly recommend it. The second one is The Darkness or The Darkness 2. It's basically about Jackie who is a mob money runner, if you will. And he missed out a payment to a mob boss in New York City. They killed his girlfriend in front of him when he had dark powers like tentacles for arms or snake demon tentacles whatever so it's an action shooter and there's a few psychological horror and hallucinations in it so it's all tragic love story that's always fun the third one is a movie called the fountain it was released in 2006 it stars hugh jackman the wolverine and rachel witz so it's about how this guy is trying to find eternal salvation for his wife or eternal life but there's different stories about it and uh, it's mostly related to divine teachings within Hinduism and Christianity about eternal life uh, life after death reincarnation so it's a pretty good story and lastly we have Anohana so this is an anime that's unlike any other animes that you know it's pretty short, only 11 episodes, and it's about 20 minutes per episode, so that's only like 4 hours, but it's a feel trip, or feel trip, so emotion train, if you will. So every episode, there's a lot of emotions, and basically the story is about this group of friends that got separated after one of them died tragically, and years later, the spirit of the dead friend come back and haunt one of them so basically it tears up emotional scars and tragic you know misjudgments and other stuff so it's a feel feel train if you will so there's a lot of emotions and by the end if you don't cry or at least shed a tear you have no heart or a brick for a heart so i highly recommend you watching anohana because it's one of the best animes I watched and it's pretty good so there's the recommendations for Valentine's Day hope you guys enjoyed it but if you already watch all these or play through all these you can find me on World of Tanks obviously I'll be grinding my ass off with the T44 most of the time but hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys clean up your computers so make your computers a little bit faster run a little bit better so that's always nice, but hope you guys enjoy your Valentine's weekend, which I have nothing else to do, so I write solo, like always. 
awesome. <laughs> awesome possum. So rate this video if you can. That always help me out a lot. Leave a comment below uh, any questions you might have about your computer or any of these recommendations I have, which is always good. But as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Happy Valentine's Day. Peace and love. <laughs>